Hi, I'm Jeremiah with ENS, and uh, we've been uh, very often asked for what I call a cradle to grave installation of a digital sign. So that's what this video is today. Dan, our master videographer extraordinaire, is going to be following us around at two installations today. Uh, one being a 22 inch monitor turn portrait for uh, doing postering in the downtown core of Victoria, BC. The second one being, uh, I think it's four. Uh, menu boards that are going to be going up in a franchise business called Pure Health. So uh, watch and learn as we go through the installs. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so we're just heading out the door to the install. Uh, these are the standard pro boxes. We're going to use them for uh, menu boards in this restaurant, uh, along with 42 inch monitors, which uh, First Class Bill is hooking out the door right now. Four brackets. We have four pro boxes. Okay, so this is going to be the new location of Pure Health. Uh, it's going to be a, a really nice restaurant when it's done here. And uh, you can see that it has uh, prominent parking. And uh, they're doing all the leasehold improvements right now. Okay, so what you can see up here is they put uh, power and Cat5 cable up on the wall behind where the uh, uh, menus are going to be going. That's a really nice install. That makes it a lot easier and a lot faster for the digital sign installation team. Now there's another part about this install that really is, is quite brilliant, and that is prior to us showing up, the uh, business owner actually took the time to find out where the studs are in the wall. Uh, there's a steel stud in about the middle of the wall here, and what they've done is they've put some plywood up. Uh, looks, looks about uh, half inch, creates plywood? Three quarters. Uh, three quarters, yeah. Three quarters plywood. Uh, and then what they've done is they've uh, bolted that to the stud, and that allows us to be able to put the mount onto a firm uh, backing. And why this is important is, uh, Bill here just pointed out, is take a look at the back of the monitor. With the monitor here, this kind of mounting configuration uh, is quite wide. And what you can see here is the actual um, uh, other piece of the uh, mounting bracket doesn't allow for a lot of uh, movement side to side. So it doesn't give us a lot of options. Whereas, look up on the wall here again. The way that they've put this uh, backing on, it allows that when Phil's doing the install, he has some room to be able to make decisions about how to properly center the unit on the wall. Uh, you can also see it up over there as well. It's just, just hidden in the color. They put uh, uh, plywood backing all the way across the wall. Uh, a really good point, and that is when you're working in a location like this, always make sure that you're using cardboard. You can see here, he's taken the cardboard from the box, flattened it out, and put it on top of uh, uh, wherever, whatever surface you're using. Uh, really important just from a customer standpoint, the last thing you want to do is leave a location uh, worse than when you arrive. You don't want to have any scratches, anything like that. And Phil's just about done the install. What you can see up here is three of the four screens are up on the wall. Uh, Phil's just finishing up the last of the, uh, the mounting for the last unit. And these three units are already showing our configuration page. This is the page that first shows when you boot up a unit on site. Why this page is important is it's showing things such as connectivity. The reason these are disconnected is the uh, rest of the internet is not yet set up in the building. But what we do know is uh, the uptime that the units are running just fine, that there's enough memory, that uh, everything is working good with the operating system, and we can see the basically the health of the system and uh, basically that uh, the internet is not yet connected, uh, but Rest assured, once they turn on the uh, internet, this will flip over to show the, uh, the uh, uh, advertising, or in this case, the menu boards for this location. Okay, so uh, this unit is ready to uh, uh, basically uh, hoist it up and put it on the wall, and I want you to notice the cabling that's nicely hidden in behind the unit. 
Uh, Phil has put the uh, sign box down below. What he's done is he's run zap straps around the very bottom of the articulating mount. That's why it's nice to have these larger mounts that give a little bit of room to be able to fit the unit directly behind, or the sign box directly behind the LCD unit. I also want you to notice the cabling. What he's done is run it up and around and discreetly to the side, and then he's going to just basically, once it's uh, up on the wall, just have to plug it in and plug in the CAD5. Look up above there and you can see what I mean. He's already put the back of the mount up and he's able to put the uh, CAT5 and the power in just one, two, and of course three with the LCD. That's the end of the install. Now what I want you to notice now that Phil has put the digital sign single-handedly up on the wall and connected all of the power professionally to the back of the unit is that he's wearing gloves. Notice the white gloves that he's wearing. That makes it so he's not putting any handprints on the units as he's doing the install. Uh, it just, it's that nice extra added touch that makes it so when the customer first sees the screens, they don't even see any finger marks. Okay, so one of the things we want to showcase very quickly here is accessibility. Uh, why it's so important to be able to mount like this with uh, some of the larger spaced mounts is not just because of angling, it's because of this. Come on up underneath here and you'll see. This is such a nice installation for servicing because everything is accessible. The computer, uh, turning it on and off, the operating system on the compact flash card, and all of the cables and wires that are attached to the LCD. Uh, so if this needs servicing, what is brilliant about it is the fact that everything comes off as one unit. Very simply, you unplug this from the wall, pick the unit, the computer, everything up as one, pull it off the wall to service, and then put it back in place. So this is the wrap-up, uh, last part of this installation for Pure Health Lounge. What you're going to see up on the wall here is the menu board going all the way across, and then one on the side. Now their own graphic designer hasn't built the last part there. Uh, once it's built in, that's going to be a full menu board. So I want to, I want you to take a look around at the rest of the location, uh, get an idea of the ambiance here, the color palette, uh, how everything matches in. Uh, vibrant greens to the uh, pinks and the oranges, uh, which matches against the palette here for the menu board on the side. This is what a professional installation should look like, that the menu should be as much about ambience and location as anything else. So when the customer comes in from location, they get an impression of a high-end kind of feeling.